My beautiful dancers and dance lovers, welcome. I'm Egle de Gelskis and I'm here to help improve your dance and simply make you fall in love with solo jazz. Yes, Suzy Q can be a tough one and I see how my local students love it and hate it at the same time. So if you have same double feelings or you just want to dig into this move and dance together, keep watching. All right, so let's get into the essence of this move and if you saw someone doing Suzy Q, probably you saw this very attracting thing when they use <laughs> their knees. So they open and they close. So let's start digging into this move from just moving our knees out and in. So what you need for that, take your feet together, close to each other for now, and bend your knees. That there would be some space to move your knees. And let's go, open, close, open, close, open, close. And you can have your rhythm closer, faster or slower, but basically we open, close, open, close, open, close. But this is not a real Suzy cue. We're not moving anywhere. And this might also feel not as comfortable for this part of your leg. So let's change it a bit. Instead of having your feet close to each other, have one a bit more in front. And my weight here is on that front leg. That's why the, the other heel is a bit up. Okay, so from here, let's do the same thing. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. From here, do you feel like when you open your knees, your feet also sliding a bit on the floor. And this way, at least for me, it is much more comfortable than just break your feet somehow like this, okay? Open, close, open, close. Let's start with the other leg. Let's try having our left now, if that was right before, having a bit in front, having all your weight more or less on that front leg, basically on the second part, like on the heel more and on the toes here. And let's do the same thing. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Two, ta, two, ta. Again, you should feel that by doing that, your feet are sliding as well. Shoo, a shoo, a shoo, ah. Okay. Now we're still not moving anywhere. And basically, Suzy Q movement is towards one direction or the other direction. So to master everything properly, let's do it in a simple way. Again, you have your knees bent, you have one leg in front, and if it's right, you're gonna be moving towards your left. And if it's left, you're gonna be moving towards right. So from here, instead of thinking about open, close, open, close, think about moving left, right, left, right. So you open, you close, open, you close. Now let's try the other way. Left in front, right leg, we go step, close, step, close. And I'm not opening on my knees, yet I make, it, I make it simple, okay? So one more time, a bit faster. To the left and to the right. Ti, ta, tu, ta, simple, just walk, walk, walk and change. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Very nice. From here, knowing that you can do like this, slide a bit your feet on the floor by opening and closing. Let's mix the walking with opening, closing, opening, closing. Oop, ah, oop, ah. In your walking, doesn't have to be big. You don't have to walk a lot. 
if first you feel, okay, okay, this is working, little by little. If you feel it doesn't work, stop. And again, work on that opening and close. And then try to walk tiny step towards one or the other direction. Okay, now one little tip for you. If this doesn't work still, you can fake it a bit by having your hips involved into this movement. So what I really like to have my hip here, ooh, ooh, get two, ooh, get two. So I'm really moving my hips and, and kind of shifting my weight on one of my legs. So if my right is in front, I have my knees bent and I also shift so bend my body a bit towards left. And this way I show my right hip more obviously. Boom, boom, boom. And if you start moving your hips, even with, without opening your knees too much, it's gonna look somehow more interesting. Boom, pata, kata, kata. Let's learn a little combination for you to remember like when we start, how we start, and you know how we can modify our Suzy Q. So basically, we have to go into this position when one of your legs is in front and kind of closed that we could after open. So let's start it with a little kick and clap if you can do those two at the same time. Boom, close, close. Or with the other side, boom, close. So this way, I kind of have this position where I would really want to go to the toilet, <laughs> but I don't really want it. I want to enjoy my Suzy Q. So let's start like this. I'm going to count you in. Five, six, seven. A one, a three, a five. Set a one, a two, and you know what to do. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A one, a three, a five, six, seven. Let me show you from behind. We start on eight, five, six, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A one, two, three, a five, six, seven. One more time, we go to the left, to the right, boom. All right, let's play with this rhythm. And instead of having full Suzy Q, moving from right side to the left, from left to the side, let's have forward and switch and finish with a Suzy Q. Good singing. We go one, a two, and you know what to do. Okay, you can sing this song with me and this way you have everything in places. So we start having one, two, a three, four, a five, six, seven. And I finish having my knees, my legs close to each other, knees closed. One, two, a three, four, a five, six, seven. From here, let's switch by having that kick and bringing left in front. A, one, two, a, three, four, a, five, six, seven. A, one, two, a, three, four, a, five, six, seven. A, one, two, a, three, four, a, five, six, seven. So if Suzy Q doesn't really work yet, especially in that shorter version, Think of going front and front and to the Q. Front and front and to the Q. So we have two eights. Let's have some more for the end to kind of close phrase, musical phrase. And for that, we can have some real Suzy Qs involved. So I'll show you from behind where we ended up having front and front 
and to z q now let's continue with that preparation to the side and we're just gonna roll katun katun kata boom katun katun kata now that it wouldn't be too long let's have instead of two eight counts let's have it divided into one eight count so that means we're gonna do this a one two three five six seven a one two three five six seven let's try this together five six seven a one two three a five six seven a one two three five six seven i know suzuki can be overwhelming so that you wouldn't do it for too long and that would be some changes let's have the very end for just lifting your knees and crossing in front so i'll show you my idea for that a one two three four five six seven a one two three four Six, set, and then we can restart. So let me show you all of what we have that we could practice with music. We start with short version where we Suzy Q and then we switch. Boom, gatun, gatun. Now we go into a bit longer version, switch, boom, ata, and just cross, cross. And cross and turn until we start over. So let me do it with counts that you could follow or watch before you do it. So five, six, seven, a one, two, a three, a five, six, seven, a one, two, a three, a five, six, seven, a one, two, three, a five, six, seven, a one, two, three, a five. Six, seven, and paru, garu. I could repeat. Oh, and I'm showing here because you could think of your hips, hips, and then again hips, hips, until we finish it with some crossing. Yes. So let's try this with music. Five, six, seven, eight. A bit longer, switch, and cross, cross, one more time, front, front, to the side, front, front, to the side, longer, Suzy Q, <laughs> and some crossing, and some crossing, just because. Well, I hope you enjoyed dancing together or at least enjoyed watching me dance. And if you haven't tried Suzy Q ever, now you're gonna try it, you're gonna do it, you're gonna master it and you're gonna apply it into your dance because it's a beautiful move. So if you found this video useful, I hope you did. And if you did, please like, subscribe, comment and share. And if you want to help me decide on to video topics you want to see on this channel, I invite you to become my Patron because we do beautiful things there. So I invite you to join this community. As always, wishing you all the best and I'll see you another time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.